Resources are attributed to activities to make clear who is responsible for their use. Click on Gantt Chart on the view bar and select the activity Briefing Meeting. Now click on Assign Resources on the toolbar. In the box Assign Resources, click on Attendance and with the control key held down, click on Client. Now click on Assign. Without closing the box, assign Resources and select the activity Research at Company. Click on Scriptwriter and then on Assign. Repeat the procedure attributing the resource scriptwriter to the activity script writing. In the same way, attribute client to client analysis. Client in attendance to evaluation meeting. Scriptwriter to script correction. Client to second client analysis. Remember that the activity Final Client Approval is only a milestone and therefore no resource will be attributed to it. Assign the resource, producer to the activity, production and scheduling of recordings. The activities, recordings on site and recording announce off stage, share several resources. Select these two activities and assign the resources, assist director, camera operator, director of photography, electrician, production assistant and scene director. Now only select recordings on site to insert your material resources. Six professionals will be working in this activity which will consume a total of six lunches and six snacks per day. In the field of the column units which refers to these resources write 6D. We will need two beta tapes to make these recordings. Continue assigning the other resources. Assist director, audio studio and speaker to the activity recording off speaker. Paint and painter to the activity studio painting. For the activity recording announcer off stage, we must not forget to assign the resource announcer. So just click on Announcer and then on Assign. With this last attribution, the project points to an error and changes the duration of the task. Click on the exclamation mark and choose the option Increase Total Work. To better understand how Microsoft Project calculates the duration of an activity, one has to know the formula. Duration is work over unit. For example, if you have a job that requires 40 hours and you have two resources for this work, the duration of this activity will be 20 hours or two and a half days. This relation is recorded in the first allocation of resources of this activity. That is, you will always maintain one of these three elements fixed while adjusting the other two in order to maintain constant the initial relation. For example, if you set the work of an activity at 80 hours and the initial relation recorded was 80 hours for the two resources by doubling the amount of resources, you will automatically reduce the duration of the activity to one half. Assign the resources beta tape lunch and snack to the activity recording announcer off stage. Since we have inserted an additional work resource into this activity, the team has increased and the number of meals should be changed to seven per day. Two beta tapes will be required for this activity. When trying to attribute to the activity soundtrack development to the resource musician, you will see that this resource does not exist. The insertion of a new resource can also be made through the box Assign Resources. If you check the resource sheet at this point, you can visualize the resource musician. To organize this spreadsheet, move this resource down to the Resource Audio Studio. When filling in the fields of the column Group and a Crew At, 
you can use the Auto Fill In tool. Just click on the lower right corner of the cell above and pull it down. Use the field cost per use to attribute a cost to this resource. The musician will charge a fixed amount to play the soundtrack, irrespective of the duration of this task. Assign the resource Video Designer to the activity Trailer Development. Select the activities Video Editing and Client Corrections and Comments and assign to them the resource Editor. Assign to the activity Presentation to the Client the resources Attendance and Client. One of the most important steps in the construction of a project plan is to consider the intimate relation between the amount of resources used and the duration of the planned activity. The chart at the side, it highlights this relation. In most cases, an increase in the amount of resources will imply a reduction in the duration of that activity. For example, a painter takes 10 days to paint an apartment. It is reasonable to suppose that two painters will paint the apartment in five days. But this relation has a limit to its validity. It would be absurd to say that 1,000 painters would paint the apartment in only 30 seconds. Finding the amount of resources that will produce the maximum reduction in the duration and working with this amount in the activity is a process known worldwide as collision or crashing. After concluding the allocation of resources, the project manager will have to check to see that the resources are not being used in an amount that exceeds their capacity. Every time that a resource is being utilized above the required capacity, there is a super allocation of resources. Click on View, Toolbars, Resource Management. Now click on Resource Allocation View and then go to Next Over Allocation. The Resource Assistant Director appears in red color. In this way, the project highlights the resources that are super allocated. This resource is attributed to activities, recordings on site and recording off speaker in studio, scheduled for the same period. To resolve this problem, select the activity Recording Off Speaker in Studio and click on Assign Resources. Select the resource Assistant Director and click on Replace. Now select Script Writer, click on OK and close the window.